In the first part of today's lecture, we talked about mathematical modeling of a simple mechanical system. In the second part, we took a little bit more complex uh, system and obtained its free body diagram and then obtained its transfer function. We consider again the same uh, complex mechanical system uh, described by this figure. We remember we had a mathematical model for uh, this uh, system which was described by this equation. If uh, we carefully look, uh, carefully look uh, at uh, these equations, what we see is in this mathematical model, x1 of s is multiplied by some of the impedances which are connected to this displacement uh, x1. Uh, the impedance k1 is connected to this uh, impedance k2 is connected to this displacement this impedance fv1 into s is connected to this displacement this impedance fv3 into s is connected to this displacement and the impedance m1 s square is connected to this displacement. So uh, x1 is being multiplied by sum of impedances which are connected to this displacement. And then we have a negative sign uh, x2 multiplied by the sum of impedances which are connected to both x1 and x2. Here fv3 is connected to both this displacement and this displacement. So we have an impedance of this damper and likewise uh, this spring is connected to both the displacement one end is connected to displacement x1 and uh, so this impedance is common between both the impedances and on the right side we have a sum of the forces which are applied directly applied to this uh, displacement in the second equation again x1 is multiplied by a negative sign and sum of impedances which are common between the two displacements plus x2 multiplied by sum of mechanical impedances connected with this displacement x2. <coughs> Here what are the impedances connected with this displacement x2? We have the impedance k3 connected with this impedance k2 is connected to it, impedance fv3 into s is connected with this displacement and this impedance fv2 into s is connected with this displacement and then m2 s square is also connected to this displacement. And on the right side we have some of the forces which are directly acting on this displacement. So there is no directly applied external force to this displacement so this right hand side is zero. To summarize uh, uh, we can apply uh, this shortcut to obtain mathematical model for mechanical systems that is x1 of s multiplied by sum of mechanical impedances connected to uh, motion at x1 and x2 multiplied by a negative sign and then multiplied by sum of impedances which are connected between x1 and x2. On the right hand side we have sum of applied forces x, x, at x1. The second equation uh, x1 multiplied by uh, with a negative sign multiplied by sum of impedances common between x1 and x2 plus x2 multiplied by sum of impedances connected to motion at x2. On the right hand side we have sum of applied forces at x2. Now uh, we can just get rid of the difficult procedure that is first writing the free body diagram then writing the force balance equations and then uh, finally uh, the mathematical model. We can directly apply this shortcut to obtain mathematical model for mechanical systems. However remember that this uh, shortcut is uh, not uh, valid, not cannot be applied to all mechanical systems. So we should also know the basic theory. Furthermore, 
these shortcuts are valid only if the directions of all displacements uh, are taken as in the previous example if uh, it is not the case then we have to somehow change the signs associated with uh, all these terms in the previous example we had two linearly independent displacements x1 and x2 therefore two diff uh, equations however uh, for the situations when we have uh, three linearly or more linearly independent displacements then the number of equations that we shall get will be equal to the number of linearly independent displacements and then this shortcut can be similarly extended that is if we had three linearly independent displacements then we would have a third term over here x3 of s multiplied by sum of impedances common between x1 and x3 likewise in the second equation we would have negative sign x3 multiplied by sum of impedances common between x2 and x3 and similarly a third equation uh, with x1 of s multiply, uh, multiplied by sum of impedances common between x1 and x3 x2 of s multiplied by sum of impedances common between x2 and x3 plus x3 of s multiplied by sum of impedances connected to x3 and on the right hand side sum of the forces applied forces at x2 as a homework you are required to uh, let's uh, uh, apply this shortcut let's apply this shortcut to this mechanical system and uh, obtain the mathematical model for this particular system uh, without writing the force balance equation so first step is to identify the linearly independent displacements this end of the spring is fixed and cannot move this end has certain displacement so let's call it x1 of s uh, this end of the spring has uh, the same displacement as uh, uh, therefore uh, uh, let's uh, that the same as x1 this end can have a different displacement let's name is name uh, it as x2 this object is uh, freely placed uh, on these two objects and can freely move so the displacement of the, this object will be different from both x1 and x2 therefore let's call it x3 of t we uh, apply the shortcut directly and do not go into details of sketching free body diagram so applying the shortcut x1 will be multiplied by sum of impedances connected with x1 so what are the impedances connected with this displacement uh, we have uh, this impedance m1 s square connected to uh, this displacement x1 so we have uh, m1 s square we have this friction fv1 into s and another friction fv3 into s uh, which are connected to this displacement there are two uh, springs uh, impedances of spring uh, k1 and k2 are connected to this displacement so x1 multiplied by sum of impedances connected to x1 and using the shortcut you have a negative sign over here and then x2 multiplied by impedances which are common between the displacement x1 and x2 so there is only one impedance which is common between displacement x1 and x2 uh, that is k2 and then uh, a third term over here which is negative sign multi and x3 of s multiplied by sum of impedances common between x1 and x3 so only this impedance is connected to both uh, this displacement and this displacement so fv3 into s multiplied by x of s on the right hand side we have some of the forces which are directly connected to this displacement so there is no uh, uh, external force directly connected to this displacement uh, therefore right hand side is equal to zero for the second equation uh, we have x2 of s 
multiplied by sum of the impedances connected to x2. So what are the impedances connected with x2? We have this m impedance m2s square, we have this impedance fv2 into s, we have this impedance fv4 into s and we have this impedance k2. So these are the impedances connected uh, directly with x2. And then uh, negative sign and x1 multiplied by impedances which are connected to both x1 and x2. So there is only one impedance which is connected to both x1 and x2 that is written over here. Minus a third term that is x3 multiplied by the sum of impedances which are common between displacements uh, x2 and x3. So there is only one impedance which is common between displacement x2 and x3 that is fv4 into s. On the right hand side we have some of the forces which are externally applied to this displacement uh, that is f of s which is directly connected to this displacement. For the third equation for, uh, we have again uh, similarly similar uh, steps x3 multiplied by sum of impedances connected with x3. Uh, impedances connected with x3 is m3s square. Uh, this impedance fv3 into s fv4 into s and then a negative sign x2 multiplied by sum of impedances common between x2 and x3 uh, negative sign x1 multiplied by sum of impedances common between x1 and x3 and on the right hand side sum of the external forces which are directly applied to this displacement which in this case is equal to 0. So now we can directly apply the short shortcut to obtain mathematical model. However, it is important that you should know the basic, you should have the basic understanding, basic knowledge be behind that shortcut. As a homework, uh, you are required to obtain mathematical model for this mechanical system. Uh, first uh, obtain the mathematical model by sketching the free body diagrams then uh, obtain the mathematical model by directly uh, applying the shortcut and finally apply Cramer's rule to determine the transfer function between x1 and f of s in the next lecture we shall talk about uh, mathematical modeling of uh, mechanical systems with uh, rotational displacement